So we can graph these polynomials when we have factored form. Okay, because if we have the factors, we can draw, write in, draw in the three points here. So I have factors at x minus 1, x plus 3, x minus 5. So that means I have zeros at positive 1, positive 5, and negative 3. I also know that the leading coefficient is going to end up being negative. So for odd, it should trend in this direction. So I can just kind of draw, sketch it in now if I want to, but I also want to use the y-intercept. Okay, so the y-intercept is a point that we can easily generate by multiplying the last terms. So I get negative 5 times positive 3 times negative 1 is positive 15 times negative. So I'm going to have y-intercept of negative 15. So I'm going to scale this. So let's make this... Uh, so let's scale this into maybe into 3. So 6, 9, 12, 15 here. So let's say that's negative 15 here. So when I sketch this graph, I know that's going to trend in this direction because of that negative. Okay, so maybe I'll just highlight that as well. Okay, that negative that negative leading coefficient means it's going to trend in this direction. So when I sketch this graph, I should have a graph that goes through here like this. Okay, it's going to have come through the y-intercept. It's going to go up through here and down, and it's going to be trending in the negative slope direction. We don't know how high it is. Okay, so we don't know how high that graph is going to end up being. So we we have no indication of the vertices here. Okay, so this is a bit of a problem in that we can't find the vertices yet, and we won't be able to do this in grade 12 anyways. We're going to need to use get into calculus before we're able to find those vertices. So these areas, okay, we just really can't figure out yet. Okay, these are still unknown to us. So what we need to be able to show is zeros, the trend, and y-intercepts. This one here, we're dealing with multiplicities. Okay, when we have a, a factor cubed or a factor squared, we're dealing with a multiplicity. Now, that negative in here is kind of a bit of a problem. Um, we don't need to worry about it too much. We could take it out. But really, if we understand how to get the zeros here, so here the zero is going to be what x makes this equal to zero. Well, the x must be negative 2. Okay, so I know I have to have a negative 2. Okay, so that's going to be negative 2, and that's going to be a bounce. This is going to be 3, okay, so that is going to be a 3, and we know that's going to be a slide. Now what's a little bit difficult is that we just kind of got to make sure we understand this is a degree 5, so it's going to be odd, so it's either going to point in this direction or slope in this direction. So we have to know what the leading coefficient is going to be. Well, this is going to be negative, negative, times negative, negative, negative. That's five negatives. So this really is going to be a negative leading coefficient. Okay, so it's going to trend in this direction. Okay, so the trend is going to be in that direction. Now, what we could possibly do, and this is not necessarily something you have to do, but we could factor that negative out and actually helps us out with the zeros as well. So if I factor that negative out of here, I'm going to end up with negative squared. Well, that doesn't affect anything. And then I have x plus 2 squared. And if you want to write the negative squared here, you can. Here I'm going to take out the negative and I'm going to cube it. Okay, so this is, really should write that as negative 1 cubed. Okay, and I really should write that as negative 1 squared. And this then becomes x minus 3 cubed. Okay, so then working out the coefficients, it just becomes negative x plus 2 squared, x minus 3 squared, or cubed. Okay, so this then gives us an indication that it's going in the negative direction when I factor it out. Okay, so that's one way to do it, or we can just count up the negative x's in that original equation. So there's two ways we can do this. So what's going on here is I'm going to need to start at the top. 
a oh my y intercept I should really figure out my y intercept so my y intercept here is going to be negative times negative is positive 4 times 3 times 3 times 3 so that's going to end up being uh, positive 27 times positive 4 so y intercept is going to be equal to 108 Okay, so our y intercept is going to be way up there. So I'm going to scale this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's go way up here. That's 108, my scaling. I know it's going to come down this way. It's going to bounce. It's going to go through there. It's going to come down. Oh, I'm going to need a little bit of room here. Okay, so let's try that one more time. We're going to come through here. It's going to bounce. It's going to come through here. As I come down, it's going to slide through that that root there. Okay, so these are some things that will be expected to show. We'll be expected to show the the multiplicities, y-intercept, and the direction of the how the graph's going. Okay, so it's important to understand the we have to figure out the leading coefficient as well. So that we get the direction. Now, if it's even, the leading coefficient tells us whether it's up or down. Okay, so that's something that we need to make sure that we are mindful of when we're graphing these.